Alrighty, let's fire up the giant palace jet. This is the third boot today. Gotta select Archer, gotta fix that piece of shit. Fucking big ass fucking Windows logo on that entry. Then I'm gonna pick my 4.14.9 kernel. And watch this slow ass hard drive. Okay, well, it's faster than the rest of the PC did at this college. But it's still goddamn slow. It takes its lovely time to boot. And as you can see, the, the, it's still the screen still on. It's just dim brightness. Hard drive light is fully active. Man, it sure takes its shit. Or time to do shit. Password. Push enter. Hard drive light is active yet again. Jesus Christ, why won't my piece of shit fucking focus? That's one bad thing about the fo about the camera on this thing. In video mode, you can't refocus. I should re I should edit the camera app. Although I don't think that would actually work. This is a Samsung Fastnight with CyanogenMod Mod 10.1, Android 4.2.2, and it has the Devil Kernel if I remember if I remember correctly. Still, so, oh, finally changed to something. Almost there. I think it's done. Yep, hard drive light is off. That is how long it takes for me to start up my goddamn laptop. It takes its time. I still haven't set it well. Using the fingerprint reader and, and Linux to login is kind of a pain in the butt because you could, like, can only pretty much only have one security method enabled, so you can only, you can only either have fingerprint or password. I haven't figured out how to like the PAM modules. I kind of configured it once to let password, but only after the fingerprint failed a certain amount of times. So yeah, out of luck on that one. The TPM, I don't know how to use, well. I don't even know what it's used for, but I don't know how to utilize it, so... Oh well. But yeah, that's my Mickey wallpaper. All the hotkeys work. Okay, well, except for this Wi-Fi button. I mean, the light works if I turn on Wi-Fi. If I just turn on Wi-Fi, it turns, turns green or whatever the color that is. Mute button works. Web browser works. Obviously, the... Hard drive light is solid on because it's slow. Calculator button works. Yep, there it is. And finally, the web browser came open. Sleep button works, but I'm not going to do that right now, clearly. I think this is for external monitor, and obviously the volume hotkeys work. This used to work in XFCE, this battery button, it showed the battery status up here. Brightness works clearly. Touchpad works. Better than it than in Windows, surprisingly, considering this was designed for Windows. So on this side you have two USB 2.0 jeez, fucking focus. Two USB 2.0 type A ports, some firewire port, mini uh, USB E SATA combo, VGA, Express card, which has this filler in it. On the other side, God, I hate rubbing these pads on the bottom. You have two USB 3.0 ports, microphone, headphone, optical drive. You don't see that on fucking modern laptops anymore. Ethernet port, Kensington lock port. On the back, you have, well, a placeholder for a modem port or RJ45, um, RS232 port. Fucking believe that in two th for a 2013 laptop. 
battery and display port. And oh, that's meant. Actually, I opened that. What's fucking strange? Okay, I might as well continue. <laughs> okay. Another cool thing. Of, oh shit. Another cool thing about this is that, and you have access to everything. And oh my god, you can't fucking put a screw in it. You don't need a fucking screw. What's okay, the dock is at home, but what's funny, fucking strange is that this has VGA, DVI, and DisplayPort, but no fucking HDMI. That fucking blows my goddamn mind. But yeah, that's my... Oh yeah, has a... Fucking mint. You bitch. Fuck. It's an HP ProBook 6570B, fucking clearly. Goddamn focus, focus! Fuck it. Has my built kernel. Has 1,894 packages. Has Bash, Bash 4.4.19. KDE, KWIN, United Theme. Has an Intel Core i5-3230M. And a GPU is an HG Graphics 4000. Which, ac which actually isn't fucking T-Bang. It actually pulls ass pretty fucking well. A lot of people say HD graphics is shit, but it might might just be the Linux drivers that I made, or not I made, but I compiled the kernel, mo the not module, it's built into the kernel. I compiled the, or enabled the config for the i915 driver in the kernel. Then I compiled libdrm, misa, uh, libva, vdpaw, which is vdpau. And it, it works fantastic. It browses web faster than my goddamn GTX 660 on my laptop or desktop at home, which is surprising. But yeah, it fucking pulls ass. Like, it could play a lot, a lot, like many games. Pretty fine. I mean, obviously not the max settings, but it does act pretty fucking well for integrated graphics. And I don't even think the TDP even goes above 5 watts, which is, like, mind blowing. Has eight gigabytes of RAM. I do have a like it has two four gigabyte sticks. I do have a twelve or an eight gigabyte stick at home f to make it twelve gigabytes, but I don't want to mix and match modules. If you catch my drift, the Wi-Fi card is fucking garbage. Like like the the router is practically like right outside the fucking window and it shows three. And even if I'm like. If I'm far away from the access point, it still says like I have like three bars when it keeps when it barely has a signal. Um, so that's fucked. Um, also, it's like just unstable as fuck. It's like things like I had to turn the Wi-Fi off and on to fix a connection. Like it hangs. It goddamn hangs. So I had to tether my phone, which makes it better. But I hate Broadcom. It's a Broadcom. Broadcom B43228 802.11 AVGN. I want to get an Intel Wi Fi card because, with my experience with them, they're a lot fucking better. Or at least in my Core to do the laptop, it has a 5100 or Wi Fi Link 5100, but it, it won't fit in this one because the, that one, like. This is this size. This is like a very short PCI Express card. The one in the other Core 2 Duo laptop, it it's like like about like this long. So fucking clearly it won't fit. And also I noticed like another uh, fucking focus. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but yeah, as you can see here that like the imprint for another PCI Express slot. I wonder what that was for. I don't know what this fucking connector is for. This module right here is Bluetooth. It's on a USB bus, so I plugged it in there. Um, I think South Bridge is underneath this heatsink. Fuck, that's hot. And CPU is in here. Fan's not spinning yet because it doesn't think it's hot enough. RTC battery, the RAM sticks I was talking about, the hard drive, and it's actually a very nicely made protection thing. 
optical drive in there, Wi-Fi antenna get Wi-Fi antenna wires get routed through here. Docking station port, um, battery ejects switch. Um, and yeah, rubber sliders, and they've taken some beating. Oh yeah, also it can't like. I'll demonstrate it. Well, not really open to it, but. Why put two goddamn speakers? Like one is like right here, another one is like right here. Why put two speakers there? You might as well make it mono since it's not on either side. So, I mean, audio isn't too shabby, but it kind of it's kind of tinny. But oh fucking well, it's a laptop. And yeah, Windows logo key works. I want to replace it with the fucking Hearts logo, or at least the the Windows 7 flag, but yeah, it works, man, the last time I took this apart, because I had to test Dad's laptop, because he broke his panel, so I would use my panel to test his laptop, but now the, the hinge is, like, loose, like, very loose, I mean, like, now Waddles, when she rubs her, her cat face, well, she's a cat, when she rubs her face on here, like, she practically fucking closes it, so, yep, holy fuck, this is 11 minutes and 20 seconds already. But yeah, Mint Core i5, beast of a laptop. I don't like flimsy fucking thin things. I like thick, well, not thick to the point where it's, where it's hard to carry. It's not too heavy either. Obviously I have a bag that has a nice strap on it, but yeah. Mint. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, like. If you don't like it, uh, thumbs down. I don't know why I'm fucking saying this. Probably none of, nobody will watch this anyways. But yeah, see ya. I'm not, I'm not even bother, bother editing it.